they want to be disciplined in offense. That last game against Western Carolina, I don't think that they took enough time to pass that ball around. You don't want one shot. So those are the Ford keys to the game, and we are underway in Tallahassee. Florida State controls the opening tap. Long wingspans for this Florida State offense, and Osborne penetrates. Got fouled and lays it in. And one of the benefits that Luna Hamilton has, he's got a guy in Osborne that's playing in the post, but he's a wing. You see that being able to slip that pat, that pick and roll, good thing for you to be able to find out what kind of guys you have. He said every game we play is important, so they're, they're taking this Chattanooga game very seriously. Not a normal non-conference game. Tend to shoot. Here's Osborne. He'll pull up and shoot it. Nice touch. Very soft touch from Malik Osborne. Has scored all five Seminole points. Gene Batiste, nice drive, creates his own shot. Boy, he's slick. Well, Gene Batiste coming off a 25-point, 10-for-14 shooting game against South Alabama. He's got his first bucket. And Osborne feeling it from the outside. As we're under 16 minutes to play in the opening period. Ryan got a look and drains it. Boy, he's slick from beyond the arc. It checks in. Double Ryan with some help. Turnaround jumper. This time it won't go. Osborne's first miss in a while. And Chattanooga with the lead has the ball. Gene Batiste got the roll and he extends the lead. One of the things we talked about is their, their ability to not only knock down the three, but to get to the basket. Good combo guard. Very strong. He's a guy that can shoot the three, but loves to be able to get to his right hand. Big collision for Sell wide open and gets the three to fall. There's Vila in the post. Works tried to help. Now Vila with a slick move and a right hand. Nice little finish over that left shoulder. Transfer out of Arizona State for Chattanooga. It's 12-10 Moxley. Wilkes lets her rip and drains the three. Boy, the Knowles shooting the three and hitting the three. Evans is that guy and talking to, to the coaching staff is that his defense, as you see him come up with that steal, is and something they've been looking forward to. That's that defensive havoc you're talking about, Florida State. He played with Ty Jerome. That's what my name is. is yeah. Dave. Ty Jerome, when he's playing there, they played at Virginia. Battle for a loose ball. Koprivica with second opportunity lays it in. Patrick Williams on the wing in front of the box bench. Long cross-court pass for Sell. Three ball. Boy, he's been on fire. An active last couple of minutes. Florida State can make it a double-digit lead. High off the window. And another follow. Boy, Koprivica having his way on the glass. We talk about his length and how athletic it is. Good ball movement. Evans had a shot, didn't take it. Williams, high arcing three. Boy, great ball movement. And Hawks go to work down 13 points at 10.40 to play in the first half. Dominic Olenichuk in for Florida State. Commander gets one to fall. Don't go all the way to the basket. Nice little mid-range jumper. Forrest. And Olenichuk had it rejected, but a friendly bounce. Ball on the floor. Mox have it, and... Now Commander backs out. He beats Polite. Pulls up with the left hand with four on the shot clock. Rebound inside. And a nice putback. Pretty play. Kid out of Ackworth, Georgia. He's a transfer from West Virginia. 6'3", 175. Forrest, wow, nice play. Olenichuk lays it in. Under nine minutes. Gene Batiste getting ready to come back in, and Florida State getting what they want at the rim. Under on the small, on the bigger guy, he's got to try to get by and finish. This is easier said than done. Made his man, but shot it too strong. Air ball. Now Trent's issue for Forrest, and he got the floor to the fall. I think they got to find a way to be able to exploit that matchup with Gene Batiste and get some open looks. So there's Gene Batiste, oh, but five on the shot clock. A long cross-court pass. Long three and buried. Beautiful shot, Rod Johnson. Misses at the rim for the mocks here in the first half. Osborne. Gave it up. And for us the finish, I believe. Yeah, Vilas drives just two shots here in the first half. He's had almost 10 points a game. There's an easy bucket. He'll get a dunk. His second field goal, Ramon now with four points. Three won't go. Nice rebound, Patrick Williams. Boy, he's soared high to pull down that loose ball. And for Privitza, another dunk. Two more points in the post. So for Privitza, has six. 
Nice move, Johnson. This time it rattles home. But that's his fate with 10 to shoot on the clock. Gene Batiste. And Gene Batiste got Olenichuk to guard him, and he buries it. That's seven for him. They weren't even sure he was going to play tonight. With that calf injury, Gene Batiste may have shuffled his feet, but he got away with it. He scored back-to-back -back buckets. And nine so, wins last year, 13 of them in conference. And so far, Chattanooga has been able to still withstand the storm. Nice inbound play for Devin Vassell. He's got eight first-half points. One here in the first minute of the second half. And lead by 12. Risky pass from Gene Batiste. Now Vila in the post trying to establish him. And a nice under-the-rim move by Ramon Vila. One of, things about, one of the things about Vassell is not the first jump. It's always the second. We talked about his athleticism and his length. Definitely on the front at offensive board. Gene Batiste, tough shot. He's in double figures. And trying to establish himself. This is a three-point shooting team, but the last last few buckets going to the basket. Osborne drew traffic. Long three and another one. He's got a teammate in Vassell down there that can knock down that three. Their fifth three-point bucket of the game. Fela got free. Rejected. Florida State's been doing that a lot early in the season. Second chance, Vila, and he lays it in. How about the, the fact that Chattanooga continue to go to the big man? Again, I think that if you've got something that's working, you force the defense to make an adjustment. Osborne lets it rip in another three. Eugene Batiste, a two-guard or a point guard, depending on personnel joining him on the floor. Mont Paris really loves his maturity at that position, or those positions, I should say, is a nice move by Johnson. Trent Forrest with 10 to shoot. Error number three is going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Polite left hand. Won't go. Wilkes second chance over the left hand. For a 25-point game against South Alabama, Gene Batiste has had a quiet 11. Kopravica, eight points. So the little things that you teach is trying to make sure that you play man ball principle and force them in something. You see that finish. <laughs> Williams to Kopravica. When you got willing passers and Trent Forrest and Williams and Evans, these guys can break down the defense, and all you got to do is hang around the rim, and they're going to throw it and find you. You see, a nice little move by Gene Baptiste. Well, you and I were talking about uh, a guy we're dating ourselves and Isaiah Ryder, but I think that for him and his ability to get to the basket, he reminds me of a guy, Will Bynum, that used to play at Georgia Tech. He's a big, strong young man. Another turnover. Now Florida State is pulling away. Showtime for Williams. And this is where it gets dangerous for Chad Newton because, again, Williams three. Wow. He put on a show the other night. He's got another dozen tonight. So Linder out of Memphis, Tennessee. Redshirt Jr. And Williams in traffic. Kopravica fights for the loose ball and comes up with a bucket. Again, that assist to field goal ratio, very impressive for Florida State so far in this game. At early points in the game, it was at 60%. So turn it over just five times in the game. This has been a textbook Florida State game to this point. As Johnson with the left hand got close to the basket and lays it in. Good shape. Up 29 points. Another lob. Osborne had that set back. Ball on the floor. Jack's got it. Forrest turns it loose. Alanichuk offensive putback. Nathaniel Jack, good rotation. That popped out. Olenichuk again, offensive rebound. So Olenichuk, we saw him earlier working on that same move. And again, when you've got a guy like that, that athletic, that big, and take up space. They have missed their last nine shots from beyond the arc. Well, a lot of that is where well, you see Ryan knock down the three on cue. Commander feeds the post. Nice move. So a 30-point game. Forrest. And Omri Bube in transition. Nice move. Jump step. Had it rejected. But a lay-in for Grant Ledford. Oh, no look pass. Wow. Cobra meets it to Williams. Florida State from getting what they want early in the first half. They were able to get to the basket in certain things. You see, nice dime in the finish. 
Seminoles up 33 points now, a minute and a half to go. Boy, for the guys that don't play much or at all, as Jack hits a three. Florida State, too, Brian. Remember, can't underestimate the absence of MJ Walker and Raquan Gray, two starters for the Seminoles, unable to go time. White carries a three. Gives them opportunity to step up. And again, with this system, the fact they play defense creates an op a lot of opportunity. And again, we talked about that freedom they have on the other end when they play deep. Are deep, they're athletic, they're balanced. And Brian, tonight their bigs came to play. Big work inside, as you mentioned. Offensive penetration and finishing at the rim, a big part of the story for the Knowles tonight.